Good evening, family. I am your host, Infinite Child, and before the night ends, I have to give us this word. Glory be to God. Today has been amazing. It has been a wonderful day, and I hope it has been for you guys, too. And know that you are blessed and be expecting, even if you're halfway there, right? I'm just so excited. My feet praises the Lord, right? We all have our different ways. Praise and worship. More often, my hands and my feet. But guys, be expecting, be expecting. This word is for somebody, for someone, and it is for me as well. And if, you, if you've if uh, you listened to the content that I put out uh, earlier today in the AM, you guys, I hope you, uh, you know, test the spirit and what, whatever, or whatever the Lord tells you about it, listen to him, listen because the Lord will not withhold truth from any of us. And he will give us wisdom, whomever acts of it. Amen. And so, you know, it, life is serious. And, you know, the, the saying, some people say, you know, don't take life too serious. There's a time and place for everything. And I do for myself, my opinion, you know. I am a funny person. I think I am humorous. You know, I can be goofy and, and things like that, you know, um, which is a makeup of me and many parts of me, right? Compound, you know, some things could be complex and you learn something different about yourself every day. At least, uh, you know, some, some things you learn about yourself. However, you guys, life is serious. Uh, worshiping God in spirit and in truth is very serious. And I know that God can be humorous at, at, at times too, you know. The Father makes me laugh in certain situations. And even some things that, you know, that he brings across my memory, you know, and... It's okay to laugh at yourselves, right? But the, the life in general is very serious, you know, in our decisions that we make. And we are not perfect by far. But we thrive. And, you know, and we abide in all good works. Because of Jesus Christ and what he's done for us. You know, he said righteousness before us, you know, uh, the, the prime example of how we should be, uh, you know, whom we emulate here on this earth. And again, family, delight yourselves in the Lord, delight yourselves in the Lord with sincerity, you know, true worship and with true change, you know, and the, the, the renewing of our minds, right? And so... Tonight, I want to speak about, you know, we fall. Every one of us fall. I'm sorry, my foot is itching. Everyone, we all fall. And in, in the midst of all those things, you know, we get back up. Like I said before, we get back up. We cannot stay there in, the, in, that, in that space, right? And the Lord takes us to elevation, to elevation, from glory to glory. We, we are able to soar to soar, right? Although we may stumble, even it could be our own fault, you know, we cannot always think that, you know, the, the Father does these mean things to us. It, it's not Him at all. The Father is good. He is good in loving kindness. It's our, our some situations we put ourselves into, and, and, and you know, and we could be hard hit. We, we don't listen, you know. It, you know, when the Father nudges us, and you know, He completely allows us to see what's going on in front of us, and we don't listen, you know. And I, I can attest to that many situations, and I didn't listen. And although we stumble, you know, even in our flesh, and and, and you know, the enemy you know, can try to use us, you know, in our minds because the warfare always starts in your mind. And, it, and, and the enemy, 
it can use things against us, right? But the Father, Jesus Christ, have not called us to to feel sorry for ourselves, uh, to to throw salt on our wounds or anything of the liking. The Father had not called us to look backwards. We don't look backwards. The Father is not back. Though the Father, God had been covering you, even in your own mess, your situation, your past, the Father had been covering you and still is. Know that he's able to give us vision that is perfect to see through the spiritual lens, right? Vision that is reaching far. That's that's our 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 vision to be able to see what's ahead of us in in the future. The the desires that he puts on your heart. Some of those are are by God, written by God, you know, and that's what he prefers. That's what he wants to give unto us. That's what he wants to give unto you. And, it, you know, he inspires us and, you know, and encourage us, you know, in his word, his word, his word speaks for itself. Amen. And he has in, in the, his will for your life, not to harm us, but, but to give us hope in the future. Amen. And, and the future that he has for you is good. Has always been good. Has always been good. And trust you me. Or should I say believe the father that that will not change. Because he loves us so much. And know that when you fall, when we do fall, when we stumble, we get back up. And when you hit rock bottom. When you had enough, enough is enough. That's when you began to soar. That's when you began to change things. That's when the Father begins to work in newness in you. Because in sincerity, you are willing to change. And you are willing. And you say yes to God. You say yes to Jesus Christ. You say yes to the Holy Spirit. You say yes in Jesus' mighty name. And so we pray, family, Father, help us to get over ourselves. And we know that it is not about us, but it is about you wholeheartedly. And that your will that you have for us, that we are able to walk into it and to do and to give you our yes. And to give us eyes to see in the spirit. Glory be to God. Eyes to see in the spirit and strength to soar. To soar and to walk into our future, which you've already predestined for us. Amen. And how you see us, Father God, in your eyes. And we will glorify your name. And forevermore, in Jesus Christ's name, we pray. Amen. And we declare and decree, family, stumbling blocks into the path. Stumbling blocks that the enemy tries to put forth in front of us. That it is obliterated. In Jesus' mighty name. That it is null and void in Jesus' mighty name. We, family, we, we just have to trust the Father and trust the process. We have to trust the Father and trust the process. And we declare that the stumbling blocks will turn into soaring. Our future will we give you our yes, Father. And when we walk into what you've called us into, Father, we begin to soar in Jesus' mighty name. And we look to God. We look to you for all things because we know that you are our source. And you are able, more than able and willing for your children. Able and willing to do for your children. Because we know, we know in Jesus' mighty name that your word is truth and it is life. And your words do not come unto you. Back unto you, void in Jesus' mighty name. We thank you, Father. And we receive it, family. We receive it in Jesus' mighty name. I'm so excited. I'm so excited about what the Father is doing in my life and what he's doing for you guys, too. So be expecting. Be expecting. The Father is so good. The Father is so good. So let's read from Psalms, Job, and also Psalms and Job. We're going to stick to that book. Just for 
this evening and family feel free to seek the word to seek the word glory be to God oh yes and I want to include see, Ephesians chapter 3 I would hold that Ephesians chapter 3 let's go to Psalms you know the Holy Spirit I believe the Holy Spirit wants me to read that scripture too let's go to Psalms uh, let's see 116 116 verse 8 family. So again, feel free to seek. Verse 8, which says, For you have delivered my soul from death. Thank you, Jesus. For you have delivered my soul from death, my eyes from tears. How many of us cried so many tears? Even, I can attest for myself, like, some days, you know, I don't, because, you know, we're, we're more than capable of meditating, reminiscing on our past, but the past is the past. But sometimes we have these fleeting thoughts, right? And it just hits you at once. And I find myself sometimes, you know, feeling somber and just crying in tears. You know, just the the experiences that I've I've encountered, and the experiences that knowing when when God was really there for me, and it, when when all could have been lost, or even death, right? And so that happens. But I know in Jesus' mighty name, I will be compensated double. A hundredfold. I'm not doing this for anything, right? I haven't experienced all that trauma for anything, right? You will be compensated. Your tears, the Lord sees our tears, and He knows how many times and how many teardrops fell from our eyes. You will be compensated in Jesus' mighty name. You did not go through all this for not anything. There's always purpose. There's always purpose and know that all things work together for your good. And even though some things, again, some things we just may not understand why this happened, why this or why that. The father knows, but knowing that he was with us the whole time, the whole time, my eyes from tears and my feet from falling, you know, falling into that pit. Falling into, you know, the, the enemy's traps. Falling into the, the, just the complete nonsense. You know, some things are whimsical. You know, it's, it's just mind-blowing. You know, it's really mind-blowing. It's really mind-blowing of all the things that you see. And even some of the things that you've experienced. It's really mind-blowing. And just knowing that God was with you the whole time. And brought you through it. And this is your season. This is your se season. You are coming into your fulfillment. We are walking in the fulfillment. Your inheritance. The land of milk and honey. Amen. For our father has delivered our souls from death. Our eyes from tears. Our tears shall turn into joy. Amen. Amen. My feet from falling. Glory be to God. And so let's go to 56. Which will be verse 13. For you have delivered my soul from death. Again. Listen to the Lord. The Psalmist David. Of course the Holy Spirit. Listen you guys. Again. For you have delivered my soul from death. 
Have you not kept my feet from falling? Repeating yourself. Hear the word. Those who have ears, let them hear. For you have delivered my soul from death. Have you not kept my feet from falling? That I may walk before God. In the light of the living. In the light of the living. We are light. We are walking. Right? We are living in the land of the living. Like Jesus said. Jesus told one of the gentlemen. That one of the gentlemen. I don't recall his name. One of his disciples that he called. You know, he wanted to bury his uh, one of his family members, and and Jesus told him, let the bury let the dead bury their dead. I think I'm paraphrasing. Let the dead bury the dead. You know, so we are walking light of the living. We are salt of the earth. We are the light of the earth, and that we are, that we, glory be to God. Because of Jesus, we are able to walk before God. And again, we have not chosen ourselves. We have not chosen ourselves. Amen. We have not chosen ourselves. So we can't be puffed up or boast. Only thing we should be boasting about is Jesus Christ. And who he is and what he has done for us. Right? Boasting in God. Not ourselves, family. Amen. So let's go to Job chapter 4. I'm standing real quick, you guys. I'm just standing. Glory be to God. It is the Father. It's Jesus Christ. Done so much for us. So much for us. So much. I can't even fathom. Like, it, God is so good and He is so amazing. So amazing. And we receive it. We receive it, Father. We, we receive it. In Jesus' mighty name. All right. Job chapter 4 verse 4 says, Your words have upheld him who was stumbling, and you have strengthened the feeble knees. I'm going to continue to verse 5. But now it comes upon you and you are weary. It touches you and you are troubled. Listen. Is not your reverence your confidence? In the integrity of your ways, your hope. Glory be to God. Your reverence, your confidence integrity of your ways, your hope. Glory be to God. So we know that the Father keeps us. He keeps us from falling. He keeps us upright. He keeps us in alignment in good standing. So therefore we are able, Jesus Christ, we are able to walk before God. And in and amongst the living. Amen. Because God is life. God is everything. God is the source, the creator. The beginning and the end. The, the, the everything, right? Everything that you see in Christ, which he's he's so vast. And, and you know, God is spirit. And so again we worship in spirit and in truth. God is everything and what we see. And the Father, that's what we receive. And how many of us want everything that the Father has for us? Everything. Everything. Full measure. I do. 
right? And again, family, we're walking in it. We are walking in it. We're walking into it. And so I've been, I'm pressed to read uh, Ephesians chapter 3, verse 20. Glory be to God. Let's go there really quickly. Receive the word, family. Receive the word. Now to him, who is him? Jesus Christ. Who is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all that we ask or think. According to the power that works in us. In us. Great is he that's within me than he that is in the world. Which means ourselves we are then what well, we, we we live in the world but we are not of it so the father works in and through us right because the power that works in us and it is the holy spirit jesus christ who works in us Right? Exceedingly and abundantly above all that we can ask or think according to the power that works in us. Greater, greater is he that works in us than he that is in the world. And so the dynamics are totally different. It's black and white. The dynamics are totally different. To him be glory in the church by Jesus Christ. All, all of these things because of Jesus Christ. To all generations forever and ever. Amen. So family be encouraged. I hope this word makes sense to you. And I hope this word blesses you. I hope this word encourages you. I hope this word meets you where you are. Amen. Feel free to subscribe. Feel free to share. Feel free to listen to other content. Continue. Be expecting your faith. Remember, Jesus Christ is the author and finisher of your faith. Be encouraged. Be encouraged. Be encouraged. Everything is happening for you, even when you don't feel it, even when you don't see it. The Father never sleeps. His angels never sleep. All things are working together for your good. And everything will and is in favor of you and for you and your loved ones. Because they are attached to you. Amen. Be excited. I am excited. God is doing wonderful things. Eyes have not seen. Ears have not heard. You are here for such a time as this. The Father has not made a mistake. Amen. Catch the revelation. Believe it. Receive it. In sincerity. And those who are not saved. John 3.16 Confess with your mouths and believe in your heart. Repent of your sins. Repent of your sins. Father, forgive us for our sins. In Jesus' mighty name. Be expectant, family. Be expecting. The Father is doing wonderful works, signs, miracles, and wonders. Because you are witnesses. He chose you to be a witness. Amen. The glory belongs to the Father. But you, we are the recipients. We are the benefactors. Amen. Our inheritance because of Jesus Christ. I love you guys. For the love of Christ. Be safe. I hope you practice cleanliness in your workspace. Don't forget. And at home. And at home. We will talk soon. You are blessed. You are blessed. And be a blessing unto others. I will check in with you later. I am Infinite Child. Have a good night, everyone. Peace.